All right, so in this uh, video, what we're going to be looking at is solving log equations. So the last one was solving exponentials. Now we're going to talk about solving logs. And this is going to use a little bit different thing, but one thing that it is going to use uh, is the equivalence property uh, and then another property that we're going to you know, talk about in just a second. So I want you to look at these two separate equations and notice what the difference is between them. Notice that in the first equation, all of the terms have logs. But in the second one, there's a mixture of logs and constants, okay? So we're going to have to use two different ways to solve this. Now, if everything has a log in it, all the terms have logs, then we can use the equivalence property. We set one side that has a log, the other side has a log. And if we have log, b of, uh, log base b of x equals log base b of y, if the logs are the same, then the arguments are equal, x equals y. However, if we have a mixture of logs and constants, we get all the logs together on one side, all the constants together on the other side, okay? Once we have collected all the logs on one side, then we collapse it down into one single log using our log rules and set it equal to one single constant. Then we rewrite it as b to the k equals x, and we can solve it that way, okay? So let's do a couple so we can see it in action. Here, log base 2 of 5x minus 1 equals log base 2 of 2x plus 17. How many logs do we have? We got two logs, no constants. We can use the equivalence property. Log 2, log 2. So we ignore that and just say argument equals argument. So we subtract 2x. We get 3x minus 1 equals 17. We add 1. 3x equals 18, we divide by 3, we get x equals 6. Now, one thing that we didn't have to do before, but we do have to do now, is we have to check our answer. Because remember, we can't take the log of a negative number. Log, say, base 2 of negative 2 equals x. That would mean that 2 to the x equals negative 2. Is there any way to take an exponent of a positive number and get a negative number. No. So by rule, we cannot have a negative argument, okay? So we need to check and make sure we don't get one. So if we plug 6 in, we get 30 minus 1 equals 29. That's fine. We plug it in here, we get 12 plus 17 equals 29. That's fine. We just want to make sure that our answer is not extraneous, okay? How about here? We've got log of x minus 7 equals log of 5 minus x. They're both common logs, so we can ignore the logs and just set the arguments equal to each other by the equivalence property. So we add x, 2x minus 7 equals 5, add 7, we get 2x equals 12, divide by 2, we get x equals 6. So, we check our answer. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. We cannot have negative 1 as part of our argument. Therefore, x equals 6 does not work. There is no solution. Okay? This is why we have to check those answers. All right, here. Still all logs, but I've got three of them, which means I need to rewrite this in terms of one single log. So since it's subtraction, that's going to be division, right? But now I have log equals log. So I can just say argument equals argument. Now I can solve this. I'll multiply both sides by that denominator to get rid of it. We're going to clear that fraction. We get 3x minus 4 equals 2x plus 2 when we distribute the 2. We're going to subtract 2x. We get x minus 4 equals 2. We're going to add 4. We get x equals 6. So we just want to make sure that this is right. So we come up here. 3 times 6 is 18 minus 4. That's a positive number. That's fine. 6 plus 1, that's 7. That's fine as well. So x equals 6 is indeed the solution to the problem. 
same thing here. We've got all natural logs. We've got two on this side, so we're going to combine them. Since this is addition, that means it's going to become multiplication, right? Equals natural log of 10. So we're going to distribute the x. We get natural log of x squared plus 3x equals the natural log of 10. So that means that x squared plus 3x has to equal 10, right? Arguments equal arguments. So x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So do I have two numbers that multiply together to be negative 10 but add to be a positive 3? Sure. I've got positive 5 and negative 2. So that means that x equals negative 5 and x equals 2. So let's check our answers. If I plug negative 5, negative 5 plus 3, oh, that's negative 2. So that one doesn't work. Let's try 2. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. That's fine. 2 by itself is positive, so that's fine. 10 we don't even worry about. So x equals 2 is our only solution. But what about this? Because this is a little bit different because we've got this 2 out front. Remember, it has to be log, log, log. It can't be two logs and log, log. So we need to go ahead and use our power rule to say this is log base 3 of x squared equals, and then we've got log base 3 of addition. So we're going to change that into multiplication. Okay. So now we can set them equal to each other because they're both log base 3. So x squared equals, distribute that 2, we get 6x minus 8. Bring it all over to one side, subtract the 6x, add 8 equals 0. So this is going to give us what two numbers multiply to be positive 8, add to be negative 6, negative 4, and negative 2. That means x equals 4 and x equals 2. So let's check. If x equals 4, that's fine. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 4 is 8, that's fine. So x equals 4 works. If we plug in 2, 2 is positive, so that works. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4, that's positive. That one works as well. So both of them work. So now all of those had to do with all being uh, all being logs, well, what happens if we have logs and a constant? Well, this is where we're going to rewrite it. As long as we've got one log equals a constant, we can say 5 to this power equals this. So 5 to the second power equals 3x plus 1. And then this is just math, right? 5 squared is 25 equals 3x plus 1. We subtract 1, 24 equals 3x divided by 3 x equals 8. Always check your answer. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. Check x equals 8 is a solution. But what about this? Now we've got two logs and a constant. Well, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and combine over here because these are all both log base 3's. We can rewrite this as log base 3 of x plus 6 over x minus 2 equals 2. So we've got a log equals a constant. So 3 to this power equals this. So 3 squared equals x plus 6 over x minus 2. So this gives us 9 equals x plus 6 over x minus 2. So this is a fraction. So I need to clear my fractions by multiplying both sides by the common denominator. We're going to get 9x minus 18 equals x plus 6. I'm going to subtract x, 8x minus 18 equals 6, add 18, we're going to get uh, 8x equals 24, divide by 8, x equals 3. We can check our answer, 3 plus 6, 9, that's fine, 3 minus 2 is 1, that's fine. So x equals 3 is our solution. Here, we've got a log on one side, we've got a log on the other side, and a constant. So if this happens, we just need to get all of the logs over on one side. So this gives us log of x plus 15 plus log of x equals 2. 
So here we can change this into a single log of x plus 15 times x equals 2. So this is common log, so it's base 10. So 10 squared equals x plus 15 times x. We can go ahead and distribute that. We get 100 equals x squared plus 15x. So when we rewrite this, x squared plus 15x, subtract 100 and get 0. So my question to you is, are there two numbers that multiply together to be negative 100 and add to be 15? So let's look at 100. You got 1 and 100. Certainly don't, in this case, since it's negative, they don't subtract to be 15. 2 and 50, 4 and 25, 5 and 20. Aha, 20 and 5. If I make the 5 negative, 20 minus 5. So x minus 5, x plus 20 equals 0. Therefore, x equals 5 and x equals negative 20. We check our answers. 5 plus 15 is 20. 5, that's fine both ways. So x equals 5 works. Negative 20 plus 15 is negative 5. Doesn't work, so negative 20 does not work. Last problem here. We've got log base 4 uh, of x squared minus 9 minus 3 equals log base 4 of x plus 3. So let's go ahead and move the 3 over here and subtract this log. So we're going to have log base 4 of x squared minus 9 minus log base 4 of x plus 3 equals 3. So we know that we can rewrite this now as log base 4 of x squared minus 9 over x plus 3 equals 3. Now, you can say that this is x squared minus 9 uh, can be factored as x plus 3, x minus 3. I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to go ahead and write this as x plus 3, x minus 3 over x plus 3 equals 3. Because when those cancel, that's going to give me log base 4 of x minus 3 equals 3. So I can say 4 to the third power equals x minus 3. So 4 to the third power is 64. So we're going to add 3. We get x equals 67. Now, over here, if we do it this way, we get... Uh, x squared minus 9 over x plus 3 equals 3. Go ahead and multiply both sides by x plus 3. That cancels out. We get x squared minus 9 equals 3x plus 9. Now, factor out of 3, we get x plus 3. Don't factor out of 3. <laughs> Move everything over to this side. So we're going to subtract 3x and subtract 9. We're going to subtract 3x and subtract 9. So we get x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Now, this is going to give us x minus 6, x plus 3. equals 0, so x equals 6, x equals negative 3. So, if I plug these in, if I plug in negative uh, 3, I get a 0 up here, which does not work. You can't take the log of uh, 0, so negative 3 doesn't work. 6 plus 3 is fine, 36 minus 9, so x equals 6 works. So, where's the discrepancy? All right, so oh, 
I didn't want to make a silly mistake. And hopefully y'all caught that and are laughing at me still. This is a long video, so y'all are probably tired of that. Here, I forgot to do the 4 to the 3rd equals that, so that's going to be 64 equals x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. Now we can multiply by x plus 3. We get 64x plus 3 times 4 is 12. 1, 192 equals x squared minus 9. So we're going to say x squared minus 64x minus 192 minus 19 is 201. So I need two things that multiply to be negative 201 and add to be negative 64. And that's going to be x minus 67 and x plus 3. So we get x equals 67 and x equals negative 3. Once again, negative 3 doesn't work because it gives us 0 there and we can't have 0. 67 works and it's the only one that works. So which way was easier? Oh, definitely this way. The only thing here is uh, because this was, uh, we canceled the x plus 3 out, x equals negative 3 could never work because it would make this go to 0. So if we did get negative 3 in our solution, we would have to make sure and take it out of the domain, okay? Which we would do anyway because we would know up here. But I digress. So if you have any questions about any of these problems, just shoot me a reminder or an email.